possibly imagine, to the real glitzy, glamour stuff. This is stuff from Kiss. This is Gene Simmons' outfit with this amazing pair of boots, which really look like they belong in a fireplace. as like guards. I just put them on the front gate and they'll scare away intruders. This is Gene Simmons' codpiece. I'm not going to attempt to wear this at all, except to say that we have discovered that it is, in fact, stuffed. I shall say no more. Um, there are actually cod pieces are very popular. Cod pieces started uh, with Henry VIII and people like that. You know, a very popular thing. Cod pieces in those days. Um, whether it was to keep it warm or boast about your knightly prowess, I have no knowledge. But in rock and roll terms, it's I think it's purely to frighten young children. And um, uh, Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull, with his medieval connections and things like that, when. He was getting very woody in the old days. He used to wear a cod piece while he was standing on one leg, twirling his flute and everything. Which I thought looked rather wonderful. It didn't really have any particular sort of sexual connotation at all. It was more, much more theatrical. Um, this thing, on the other hand, I think is definitely designed, as, as we say, to strike fear into the heart of somebody. Uh, there is an apocryphal story, actually, about a chap called Blackie Lawless, who plays for an American group called Wasp, who supported us on tour. He has one of these things. It actually has a plastic chainsaw blade that comes out of the front of it. And um, he has a firework inside, which, at a given signal from the appropriate whatever, I don't know if it's operated by somebody else. I think he operates it himself. The firework explodes, so you get this tremendous kind of, sort of, you know, pelvic thrusting with this thing. And so now, <laughs> up goes the firework. It's very spectacular. In fact, there is one case on record when it exploded the wrong way with, I think he had to be taken off to sort of not quite intensive care, but care anyway, somewhere. So anyway, there's, a, there's quite a difference, as you can see, between like the, the American stuff and the, the English stuff. I think the English stuff tends to be more, um, much more sort of haphazard, more romantic in a way. This stuff is much more sort of showbiz, I guess, really. And I think that's the... <laughs> that's the main difference. I mean, basically, the English people just, like, mess everything up, you know? Yeah. 